Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back for more Hip Keep Club inspiration with our gorgeous July main and embellishment kits. And of course, today is mood board day. And oh, look at that gorgeous mood board. Straight away, the colors jumped out at me and I couldn't resist grabbing these two gorgeous papers. This one is the Jen Hadfield Pebbles Hey Hello Collection, Happy Day. And this gorgeous number is from the Dear Lizzie Here and Now collection. It's called Splendid. And they're both gorgeous and perfect for fussy cutting. So... Off camera, I've gone and cut them all out ready to go. And I'm just going to use that lovely chevron. I'm actually going to layer it quite closer together. And I'm going to just use the pinks and the red from that paper. I I didn't want to use the orange. I'm, yeah, <laughs> just, just didn't work for me. Um, popping in my gorgeous photo. It's an old one from, oh, well, the miss is probably about eight then. It was during her Hello Kitty phase where everything had to be Hello Kitty, including poor old dad who got dressed up, as you can see in the photograph. So it's quite a quite a happy one that popped up in the Google reminder photos and I just had to scrapbook it. So I've taken all those gorgeous fussy cut florals from the Happy Day paper and just layered them underneath and sort of followed the direction that that chevron was encouraging. So everything moving down through the center there and such a cute little design. So I'm just going to stitch... Yeah, zigzag stitch the trim there because I left that lovely barcode stripping on because I loved that alternate um, sample of paper there. And then I straight stitched along a couple of those other pieces just to make it look like they'd been attached to the, um, yeah, attached to the cardstock that way. But of course, as you know, my sewing machine doesn't like to go through the cardstock. So I pre-stitched them and I'm just going to start gluing everything together now. So there's that first trim on the top. And I really like this. I think it looks really gorgeous. And I haven't stuck at the bottom because, of course, I want to slide under, yeah, this piece here. And I wasn't quite sure on the measurement, so I've left it um, so it will lift and have a bit of movement anyway. And then I can just slip this one straight underneath. And, of course, by not sealing that top one, I can still tuck my photo in and under if I would need to as well. So there we go. Quite simple, but really, really pretty. The colours are just divine, and it, it truly was all about the colour for me today with the mood board. It just, it was just rich and bright, and that hot pink really drew me in, I think. And yeah, really pretty colours. So, and of course, the July Hip Kits, so gorgeous, absolutely stunning. They, in fact, sold out. So, I'm really sorry if you didn't get one. If you'd missed out, of course, all you need to do is start a subscription so you're guaranteed your main scrapbook kit every month. And I will have details for the Hip Kit Club in the description box below, whether it's just to visit the site and see what's coming up next, because let me tell you, you want to have a look at the gorgeous August and September kits. And oh, just so much gorgeousness. So just going to speed things up a bit now though and get gluing, adding in those bottom chevrons as well to the base of my page so it's trimmed at the bottom and then tucking in that photo and some of those florals. You can see some I'm going to tuck under my photo, some I'll tuck into that chevron, almost like a triangle shape, I suppose a big V coming down through the center of the layout. So quite simple, nothing too tricky and all those tiny little blue flowers from that paper, I thought they were a really good um, alternative to perhaps enamel dots or sequins. So they're quite cute. I do like them. I tossed up keeping that one little one in the bottom, but yeah, <laughs> changed my mind. <laughs> but very, very sweet. And then I'm going to draw on the stickers in the Crepe Paper Sweet Story sticker book because they were really gorgeous. And I thought they would just help to build up that gorgeous cluster I've got happening. And yeah, lots more florals in the same color tones. So just drawing on those same colors and just building up in the florals. And I really love, yeah, oh, the couple little butterflies. Yeah, gorgeous. Really, really pretty there. And then I'm taking the giant XO from the K and Ash um, foam thickers um, from Simple Stories. And then I liked the XO, but I thought it was a bit lost. So I wanted to add some more in, but of course I needed something that would match in with both my color scheme and size wise. So the Sweet Story stickers to the rescue again, because these are those really tiny ones. And I think they, they're just enough. They're, they're just really soft and, and they're clear stickers as well. So lovely on the white cardstock because the black really pops and yeah, just really easy to use. And I think because of the size, I prefer the smaller. Yeah, just tucked in there. There we go. So now my title really pops now. I feel like that main XO isn't lost. And I love that it's layered over the photograph and it's just drawing on all those beautiful pinks and reds um, from the photograph as well as from the papers. And I'm just going to add in now some of the Pink Paisley Fifth and Monaco um, gold photo corners because that little hint of gold 
on the heart rosette above my photograph that says so sweet I thought that gold was getting a little lost on its own and just this little hint more of gold just to keep everything you know focused on my photo draw you back in again I just thought it was a lovely touch and it you yeah, know I guess all those things of three and all of that sort of jazz and look I just thought the gold would draw in well and look really pretty and you know those mixed embellishments are lovely all the embellishments are gorgeous you need the embellishment kit you can't do without it and of course a few finishing touch sequins I couldn't help myself just a couple to finish off with and look there's my layout lots of gorgeous fussy cutting but otherwise really simple and a really beautiful one for my album so I hope I've inspired you today and that you'll play along with us in the hip kit club facebook group thanks so much for watching don't forget to those like and subscribe buttons and have yourself a wonderful happy arty days Bye.